Hello everyone, welcome back. We are here to give a six month update on my solar installation. A quick update on the actual array if any of you have never been here before and seen it. It is a 3.6 kilowatt array. I've got a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery and I'm on the Octopus Agile tariff and the total cost of the system installation was £6,300. I will get straight into the numbers. So pre-solar installation, I was paying £180 a month for electricity alone. So we're not including gas in this. This is electricity only. And that would have been over six months, £1,080. Over to the side of me here, you can see my Octopus um, account and what has been going on uh, with it. So here you can see I have spent £361.37 on electricity so far between the end of April and now, um, and used just over 2,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. Um, Obviously, that does not include the standing charge on there. So you can add approximately £100 to standing charge as it's roughly about £20-ish a month, somewhere around there, just a bit less. So three hundred uh, so £460, let's say, I have used in electricity. So that is roughly a £600 or £700 saving, so a 60-ish percent saving on my electricity bill over the summer months and then this top box here is the £63.95 is what I've exported back to the grid um, in those six months so £63.95 has gone back to the grid at 15 pence per kilowatt so we can minus that off the total so we're just under £400 in total paid on electricity in the last six months where prior to having solar installed, it would have been 1080 So as you can see there, that is a huge saving in electricity bill just over the last six months. Um, saved like well over nearly 700 pounds in six months on electricity bill alone so it is a huge saving um obviously we are now coming into the winter months where the sun will not be shining anywhere near as much but hopefully the agile tariff will get me through the winter without too many dramas i'm going to make a quick a separate video on tips for agile so please go and watch that video after this one or if it's not up yet keep an eye on the channel and subscribe because I do want to talk in depth about agile and charging but a couple of quick tips while you're on this video is don't be scared to charge on agile if the price is more than 10p and you're coming into a four to seven peak in the agile tariff if I just switch apps here quickly to an app called Agile Compare, you will see this gives the half hourly um, Agile price. We are currently at what time are we on now? 9.51 in the morning. Um, so you can see here we're paying 20.94p per kilowatt at the moment. For anyone who's not on Agile, Agile, you can see by this graph here, peaks and troughs. So Overnight, it's usually cheaper, look, 17, 18p last night. Then you get to 20 odd p's when you get to 7, 8 in the morning and people are getting up. Then it dackers off again in the morning until the afternoon. And then you get a huge spike at 4 to 7 when everyone's coming home from work, cooking and everything else. As you can see, it's 53, 55 pence. I'm on a 5.2 kilowatt battery. It will not last my household all day um i work from home two kids wife everything going off obviously need to do the washing cleaning everything else a 5.2 kilowatt battery will not run my house for a day so 
what I'm going to tell you here is something to bear in mind as an Agile user. If I've run out of battery, so for example, at 12 o'clock, where the price is 18p, I can then charge from 12 until 4 for 1921p. That will top my battery up enough to get me through this spike of 40, 50p. And my top tip with Agile is don't be scared to charge at 20p to cover the 50p spikes. Because in my house, we do still cook in those spike times. So you're better off using your battery to full effect and charging at a cheaper rate here to cover the higher rate here. And obviously going out of here 7, 8, it's still more expensive as you come into the night up till say 9 o'clock. So from 4 till 9 is usually higher than the afternoon. So even if you overcharge in the afternoon, the likelihood is you're still going to be saving money going into the evening. So the top tip there is charge to cover the spike times of Agile, especially if you are using those spike times. And most of the time in my house, people would have showers in the evening as well. We're not a morning shower house, we're an evening shower house. So if you've overcharged your battery to cover here with the 20p, at least you're covering the spike of your shower. We have an electric shower. It's a 10 kilowatt hour shower. So regardless of whether the battery is full, empty or what, we end up using some electricity to run our shower. But I hope that's a quick insight and update on the solar installation. I don't want this video to go on for too long, so I'm going to explain those points in another video about Agile. And um, yeah, so I've saved nearly £700 in six months on electricity bills. At that rate, if that carries on, um, my ROI will easily be, well, 6K. If I say over the winter, it won't be as obviously as profitable. So if I can save another, say of a £1,000 over the full year, that means my ROI will be approximately six years. So that's something to bear in mind when you're getting a smaller rate, small battery is ROI. Using these techniques, you will eventually be gaining free electricity and profit in five or six years time. Thanks a lot. Tell me about your arrays. Tell me about what you think about I use Agile and how you use Agile, and I will be back to you on the next Agile Tariff video.